When the U.S. won vast swaths of land from Mexico in 1848, people of Mexican descent were promised the rights of citizenship. But instead, they were treated as outcasts. Their plight was exposed by the writer Maria Ruiz de Burton. Maria Ruiz was born in 1832 into a wealthy Mexican family in Baja, California. They were Californios, descendants of Spanish colonists. But after the Mexican-American War, when the U.S. offered Californios refugee status and a path to citizenship, Ruiz and her mother moved to California, where they faced discrimination because of their indigenous heritage. There, she married Captain Henry S. Burton, an American officer she had met in Mexico during the war. The government gave their family farmland called Rancho Hamul, where Maria began her writing career. But when the U.S. Civil War broke out, the Burtons went to Washington, D.C., where they socialized with other high-ranking families, including President Lincoln's family. There, Maria saw scandals and corruption in the government from the inside. It had a major influence on her writing. Her first book, Who Would Have Thought It?, was published anonymously in 1872. It satirized the hypocrisy of the U.S. government as it fought to abolish slavery while still treating Californios as second-class citizens. When her husband died in 1869, Without leaving a will, Maria struggled to keep ownership of Rancho Hamul. She also tried to reclaim land in Mexico that had once been owned by her family. She brought her fight to court, where she identified as Mexican, despite her American citizenship. But in the end, she lost. Maria published her second book, The Squatter and the Dawn, in 1885. It was the first published work written in English and told from the perspective of a Californio. She died in 1895 and today is recognized as the forerunner of Chicano literature. Her work gives us an insight into the lives of Mexican immigrants struggling to find their place in the United States. What impact does a person's nationality have on their efforts to make social change through art? <laughs>